Hi boys and girls, welcome to the Steak and Brush. I'm here today with some of my July favorites. I know I'm a little late, especially since it'll take a couple days for this to go up in editing, but I still thought you'd like to see what I have. Before we get into it, as always, if you could take just a moment and hit the subscribe button, and if you want to, uh, if you want to be notified, hit the little bell next to it so you'll always know when we have new videos coming up. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps our channel grow. So um, on to the favorites and a few fails. Um, not too many, but a few. None of these are really brand new products. Some of them aren't even brand new to me, but these are just really what I have been reaching for in the month of July. Uh, a lot of these are just things that work well for the summer heat for me. So without any further ado, let's get into it. My first item is skincare. I haven't gotten into a lot of skincare yet on this channel, but I actually plan to do a series of videos about my personal skincare. Um, but the first thing is this Element Elemis Superfoods Vital Veggie Mask. Now, I'm not super big into masks. Um, they make you know, they can do good things for your skin on a short-term basis but they really don't do a lot on a long-term one and so I feel I normally wouldn't just you know waste my money on something especially Elemis it's very expensive um, for short-term benefits I'd rather put it into my money into things like serums that will help me on a long-term basis but the superfoods I got through BoxyCharm so didn't really pay for it um, but it just it you know again on a short-term basis my skin feels great afterwards so um, if you got it in your boxy charm if you haven't had a chance to try it out I super recommend it um, just to pamper yourself a little bit uh, if you have been watching my other videos you will not be surprised that I have the uh, this no problem primer by touch of soul it's the prime essence primer. Uh, it is very, it's a serum -y primer. It is not like any other primer I've ever used. If you see it just kind of drips there and it rubs right in. Um, it has ingredients in it that temporarily sort of contract your pores instead of clogging them like other primers will uh, to lessen the look of, uh, of um, pores but beyond that it's it's worked under every single foundation I've tried except for one and it actually moves into my my next favorite which is the Maybelline Urban Cover Dream Urban Cover uh, foundation and it's the only thing that I can get to work under this uh, when I first tried it I did not like this at all because it didn't sit well on my face but using it with that uh, touch of soul it really really helped now I have this in 120 classic ivory uh, it's a little dark for my winter shade but perfect for my summer shade um, it has an extra SPF 50 in it of course that's not the only sunscreen I wear on a daily basis but this helps so I like to wear this when I'm going to be out on particularly sunny days it has a nice summerly summer glow to it. Um, it. It wears pretty well, long wear at least, um, and I've just really liked it. Uh, another foundation that I liked, that I'm liking and using a lot, is this Infallible Pro Glow. Which, if you know me, I actually don't like the glow so much. I like matte. However, on you know, it's been very hot this summer. And I have found that when I wear my normal matte, my normal matte foundations and you get out in the sun, you sweat a little bit, they tend to look weird because they're not meant to look glowy. But when you use this, the Pro Glow, I find that it looks more natural when you do happen to sweat a little and you're glistening. This works well with it. So that's one of the reasons that I really have been reaching for that this summer. Now, a fail. It was just a sample that I got, but 
this I got the sample of the Too Faced Peachy Perfect. I was really disappointed because I love the peach blur. Um, I've tried other Too Faced foundations before, and while I didn't love them, I did like them. This was just bad for me in every aspect. It didn't sit well on my face. My nose looked horrible. Uh, it was somehow cakey and mushy at the same time. Um, it created polka dot pores. It set into all my fine lines. It was just, I mean, everything that could go wrong with that went wrong. So that was one of my fails. Um, as far as face products, I picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio at TJ Maxx and I have been loving it, especially these two shades here. This one in the middle is a little, you can't tell it on the camera, but it has a little sparkle in it and I'm not really big on sparkle, but those two have just been, I love those two colors and actually I'm wearing, this one is, uh, is this? this is blank, oh I'm sorry this is yeah, this is blank. This is the pool party palette, I guess I should say. But I've been wearing those a lot, wearing that today. Um, this next blush was actually gifted to me by Mandy, the other, my partner in crime here at the Steak and Brush. I think she got this in uh, her Ipsy bag. This is Sugar Blush, and this is in Peach Peak. It's very, very light. Um, but it, I find it works well with, um, especially like days like this when you just kind of want to have a nice summery glow. Uh, that's not even showing up, but I promise you it does show up on my skin. Um, but I really have been enjoying that. Um, let's move into some eye may. Oh, actually I do have one more face product. This Artist Couture Summer Haze um, Highlight. Now, I have never used a, a loose highlight before, and if you can kind of see in there what the color looks like, I, when I first opened this, I got it in a BoxyCharm, I thought this is going to be way, way too dark for me, and it's going to shift badly, but I'm wearing it today, and I don't think so. It actually just kind of gives a subtle golden glow, which is what you want in the summer. Um, if you can kind of see that swash there on my finger, if I can get it to focus a bit. It is, it's really beautiful. It's not too dark, especially if you blend it out. Uh, it just gives you a nice little glow, which is exactly what I want on these nice summer days. Now we'll move into eyes. Uh, what I'm wearing today, and I have been wearing quite a bit, is this uh, C Color Dope. It is a dupe, <laughs> dope is a dupe, for the Laura Lee palette. And on first look at this, you know, I really, it's, it's very neutral, you know, not something too exciting. But I find it's a nice pinky tone um, for a nice summer day. Like today, I'm going to a community picnic. I don't want anything too drastic. Uh, I just want something that's nice and easy. Um, it's got beautiful shimmers in it. This is a glittery shimmer in here. Let me swatch that for you. It's just really beautiful and I just find it is a nice perfect color for uh, for summer. Um, I've done a lot of traveling at least for me uh, this summer and the one palette that I've consistently taken with me is just this cheap wet and wild. This is the rose in the air. This is the one that is a um, mostly a, a dupe for the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills modern romance it is missing a uh, one or two colors uh, some shimmers but this has been my perfect go-to travel palette uh, it's small i can get some nice looks i can get some bold looks when i use these colors up here and get some nice neutrals throughout here uh, it's got this nice gold shimmer 
Um, it, it's just great to take with me, doesn't take up a lot of space, and I can get several looks out of it. On the high end, regardless whether or not I actually like this, I would probably put it on my favorites just for the price I paid. I splurged, I cashed out some uh, gift cards, and I purchased the Pat McGrath Mini Palette. Um, this is, you know what, I don't even know what the name of it is. I'll have to look that up and I will put that in the description box down there. But this was a little uh, trio that had this, um, a um, loose pigment in gold, and it had a, a mascara. And it has these beautiful shades oh this purple if you know me I love purples I've been wearing this a lot um, it has this one looks kind of pinky on camera but it's like a it's more of a goldish almost a rose gold a dark rose gold um, then we have this other true gold shimmer and a light gold shimmer I I just I have never had Pat McGrath before, so I decided to splurge and see what all of the hype was about, and they are just beautiful. They blend so well, they're very highly pigmented. There are a couple of those Mothership palettes that I want, but I $125 is just way beyond my means. But to get a, you know, I, I paid I think 48 for that and that was in the trio. That was still splurging for me, but again, I use gift cards. And you know, it was a nice way to try it out to actually see if I like it. And you know, the one part I didn't bring out, let me see if I can even find it now. Oh, I can't find it now. It was part, oh, here it is. It was part of my fails, unfortunately, was the mascara. This is the Fetish Eyes. Actually, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, and it's probably because it's not all that great. Um, it's nothing, I, I mean, I barely got any length or volume. It has a smell to it. I, I have like a perfumey smell that who wants that in mascara I, I mean this is something more I would expect out of like a Maybelline or a CoverGirl mascara I was not impressed at all by this and honestly until I started doing this I even forgot about this this is how unimpressed I was and so that was a fail on the Pat McGrath I'm very glad I did not buy that on its own and spend however many dollars it would have been However, on the good side of mascara, if you saw my last, last video, you do know that I had two that I really, really have been reaching for. The first is this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Uh, I picked this up at the Marc Jacobs website. They were having a sale, um, plus there was a code for free shipping. And on top of it, because it was my first purchase from the website, I got an extra amount off, so I picked this up for $10. I mean, you can't get a drugstore mascara for that hardly, so this was a definite steal. And the Too Faced Damn Girl, I picked that up as a deluxe sample from Sephora with an order, and I am so glad that's what I'm wearing today. Oh, no, actually, I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs today, um, but I love this, and you know, when it runs out, I will, as long as, you know, the other two of my favorite mascaras aren't on sale, I will probably buy this one again. Um, ooh, don't know if you could hear that, it's thundering. And then my final three things are some lippies. Uh, none of these are new at all, um, but these are what I've been wearing a lot this summer. Uh, the first one is the Sephora Liquid Lip in this beautiful purple color. Uh, I can't even read what this is. I will have to check later and I will put it in the description, but I actually picked this up at Sephora on sale. I was just looking for something to get me over a certain amount. 
this looked okay, but I wear this all the time. When I wear any kind of purpley look, when I wanna be a little bold, I wear it. I get compliments on it. Uh, you know, so this is a go-to for me. And I know a purple lipstick is very odd as a go-to, but it's what I've been doing. The other two are very similar. They are both Wet n Wild in their liquid catsuit line. Uh, the first one is the matte and it's the Give Me Mocha. Um, th this one stays a little longer because it is a matte. It still doesn't wear quite as long as I want it to, um, but it feels very nice. You can see it right there. Um, it feels very nice on my lips, uh, very moisturizing, especially for a matte lip. And the other one, this one doesn't wear as long, but it has more of a shine to it. And this is Cedar Later. Haha, <laughs> see you later, Cedar Later. But that's what that one is. And that's what I... That's that color right there. I've been wearing both of those. They're a neutrally kind of shades that um, go with a lot of my a lot of uh, what I've been wearing. They're not too bold, as opposed to the days when I want to wear purple lipstick. Um, but they they work with a lot, and they both feel very good. They're very cheap. I think five to six bucks is what you pay full price. And of course, I picked both of these up, I believe, at CVS. There are always coupons at CVS, um, if, especially if you get your prescriptions there. Sign up for, they have a program where every $10 you spend, or every 10, I'm sorry, every 10 prescriptions you get, you get $5 to use anywhere in the store. And then every $30 you spend on any beauty product, you get another $3 off. Plus again, they constantly have their coupons, and if you clip coupons in the you know in the Sunday paper, I bought a liquid lip and I think two eye products or a face product and an eye product. But I sp I bought three things, and after all my coupons, I believe I spent like a dollar twenty-seven. So it's a great program if you're looking for cheap drugstore makeup. So those have been my favorites and my two fails for the month of July. What have you been wearing? What are you reaching for a lot? I don't care if it's new or if it's you know the same thing that you're always wearing, but what was your July favorite makeup? Let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking for new things to try. And if when I say new, I mean new to me, not necessarily new on the market. So let me know. But until then, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.